Hey everyone, welcome back to your channel name. Today, we're diving into the world of custom ROMs and we've got a special one for you. The Hyper OZU port ROM for the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Let's find out if it's worth the hype. Right off the bat, the interface feels snappy. HyperOS is known for its performance enhancements and exclusive features, and it shows. The animations are fluid, and there's a noticeable improvement over the stock ROM. This is the smoothest MIUI or HyperOS port ROM you will use. Note synchronization working too, it just front. The camera doesn't click mirror photos. Let's go over the change log. For this initial build of HyperOZU port, a big thanks to the developer for their work. Here's what's new. It's an initial vendor port. It is a dynamic partition ROM. Firmware inbuilt, decrypted ROM by default. This is an enforcing build, developer added. Unlimited GPhoto spoof checkout on settings, additional settings, extra features. Added higher FPS spoof on some games. Added secure screenshot bypass spoof. Added modded package installer. Safety net passes by default. Updated camera to version 5. Hyper non KSU kernel by default. Remove me sound FX and there's more. Face lock and fringer print lock working fine on this ROM. When it comes to performance, HyperOS doesn't disappoint. We ran our usual suite of benchmarks and the results are impressive. There's a significant boost in both CPU and GPU performance, which you can feel during gaming and multitasking. HyperOS packs a punch with its features. The theming engine and UI customizations allow for a personalized experience. And with features like a universal clipboard and notification mirroring, it feels like a whole new device, manages to optimize it well, even with the performance gains. We're getting a full day's use with moderate to heavy usage, which is on par with the stock ROM. As with any initial release, there are some bugs to be aware of. Currently, the always on display out feature is not functioning, but stay tuned for updates as these issues get ironed out. And I also found one more bug vo Wi-Fi calling not working, means not sure it only for me or all. Others users are facing the same issues. The floating window option is also working fine on this ROM. So, is HyperOS worth installing on your Redmi Note 7 Pro? If you're after performance and customization, then absolutely. It breathes new life into the device and stands out as one of the top custom. ROMs available. It feels laggy in this video because of the screen recorder otherwise ROM so. Snappy smooth. So this is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tech content. See you in the next one.